We are going to take a look at how to do our own melody. That's our own melodic composition based on our rhythm composition or rhythmic composition from last week. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the menu and we're going to open up our song from last week. I'm going to open up my awesome song and here we go. All right, there's my song from last week. Let's go ahead and take a look listen to the rhythm. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now a lesson that we learned from Mary Had a Little Lamb was um, to use repetition and that makes it sound like a real song. So let's take a look at what we can do here in the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to start my first pitch on E, line one, which is E, and then I'm going to go ahead and make this a D, which is the space below, because the notes that we are using are C, D, and E, right? So here we have that. Let's see what that sounds like. Good. I'm going to go back up to E right here. You can do whatever you want here as long as it's C, D, or E. So I'm going to try this. And, and I'm going to go ahead and make this one a C. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to take from what we learned from Mary Had a Little Lamb, and I'm going to make this measure and this measure kind of be the same, even though it's different rhythm. So um, I put an E here. I'm going to go ahead and make this one an E. And I'm going to go ahead and also make this one an E, because this is one, two, beats one and two, and this is beats one and two as well. And I'm going to go ahead and take this half note, and I'm going to do what this quarter note is doing, and I'm going to go ahead and make that a D. So let's see what that sounds like. Cool. Now I'm going to take these two eighth notes, and I'm also going to make them E's, because that's what I did here. Now I'm going to leave this rest alone, but I am going to turn this half note into a C, like the one up there. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, now let's go to the next page. Um, let's go ahead and do something different. We started on E on the other page. Let's change things around. Let's start on a C here. And let's go ahead and make this a D. And why not? Let's make these two E's. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. Hmm. I think I want to try just making this a C here. And I'm going to make this these two D's, and I'm going to go up to an E here. Let's see what that sounds like. stop that. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and make this. And notice how the only notes we're using are C, D, and E, and that's what I need you to do. So I'm going to make this E, E. E, E, E. And I want to finish 
All right, so let's see what this sounds like. All right, that sounds pretty good. So I am going to go ahead and save that. And this is what I need you guys to do. We're going to go up to menu and we're going to go ahead and save what we did and then you guys when you open up your menu you're also going to have a fourth option that says submit and that's how I'm going to get to hear your wonderful new composition when you hit that submit button I'll be able to see it on my side I can't wait to hear your compositions that use C, D, and E and use those tricks that we learned from Mary Had a Little Lamb of using repetition and don't forget that you must end on C for your song to sound like a real song all right because you always have to go back home and C is our home key